Hello everyone and welcome back to Progressive Heli Learning. So, Greg, what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm are packing. We, you're packing. Oh, yeah, I right. got 12 pounds. I got to fit in a six pound bag. Only a six pound bag? Well, it's an explorer, maybe a seven pound bag. We've still got 12 pounds of stuff we're trying to fit in here. Generators, helicopters, fuselages, cases of fuel. That's right. You don't like fuel. Hey, 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 hey. Let's not start. Let's not start. <laughs> I like, I like, I li I'm selective about my fuel. I like, here we go. I like 93. Hey. And I, and I definitely like ethanol. All right. Oh, yeah. So cases of fuel and lots of batteries. Because where are we going this weekend? Uh, we're going to the Vegas Fun Fly. Yes. Vegas, baby. Vegas. Vegas. So while we're out there, I guess we're going to try to do some something really cool. Oh, we got some cool stuff planned and a special treat. Well, I'm not really sure. If it's all going to happen, but fingers crossed, we'll make something happen. I mean, it should be a whole lot of fun regardless. So I'm sure oh, we'll yeah. come up with something really, really cool to share with everybody. So Yeah, think about it. Clear skies, sunny weather, helicopters, your friends, batteries, and fuel. And How does it get any better than that? And, and cold. Don't forget cold. Yeah, but I got jackets and long underwear and, you know, thermal sweaters and... okay. Far. We can okay. light far. I'm gonna have to borrow some of your stuff because because I don't I don't have that kind of stuff. I might have to All go right, buy well, some. I might have to go buy so, some stuff. Matter so of fact, fly my... I'm gonna probably have to go hit Walmart here. Like I don't know. It's like almost nine o'clock. I gotta go to Walmart. Well, I'll fly my nitros a lot, and you can hover around the muffler to warm up. Yeah, I don't that think don't so. Work. <laughs> that won't work. No, I don't think so. Well, pocket warmers. Nah, Those I don't little... think so. Pads or things like those will work, right? No, Pocket warmers? No, I don't think so. I guess some duct tape. We buy a thousand. We can get them all warm and tape them all over you to keep you warm. No, I don't think so. <laughs> How long of a drive we got ahead of us? Uh, five if it's me, six if it's you. And since you're driving, it looks like it's going to be six. <sighs> so what time are we leaving? Yeah. I got to pick you up at 2 a.m.? Something like that. All right. Well, I'll call you at one o'clock to make sure you get out of bed. No, that's not <laughs> how it works, dude. You wait till I'm actually ready to go to then pick me up. Oh, I can't be early. You know, mm. if you're not 15 minutes early, you're late. Mm. <laughs> Says Greg. All right, man. I'm gonna go pack my uh, my overnight bag or whatever and get ready, and so I can go take a nap. All right, I'm going to finish loading the Explorer with helicopters and batteries and generators and blankets and food and stuff, and I'll hit the rack, and I'll see you in a few hours. All right, and guys, uh, stick around. We'll, uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Hey, guys, welcome back to Progressive Heli Learning. We've got... A uh, really cool thing here for you guys. We've got Jamie Robertson. He's uh, joined us here at uh, the fabulous Las Vegas Fun Fly, and he's going to demonstrate uh, how to effectively execute a loop, how to get started, making sure your lines are straight. Jamie, take it away. Yeah. So, as Shane said, we're going to be uh, doing some exercises to help you with uh, just forward upright loops right now. So one of the things that I always like to do to set up really any maneuver whenever you're going to be coming parallel across the flight line is start out in a sideways hover as we have here. Now we're going to fly out to either side and we're going to do a stall turn like so. Now what this is going to allow us to do is to enter the maneuver truly parallel to the flight line as opposed to doing a standard turn, something like this, and then it's a lot harder to tell if you're parallel. You might come in a little bit crooked, which is gonna cause you problems down the road. So, now that we know that, we're gonna come, do our stall turn, and I'm just gonna show you a little exercise that I would recommend for learning loops. So we're gonna do a standard loop here, parallel to the flight line. 
And then at the bottom of every loop, we're gonna rotate it by about 30 to 45 degrees. Now what this is gonna allow you to do is not cheat yourself and get comfortable with only one orientation of loops. Because I see a lot of people, they're only comfortable going one way. So this exercise is going to force you to learn all orientations. And once you feel like you've mastered that, you can do it backwards. And so that way, you will never find yourself in any sort of loop that you're uncomfortable with. That's the goal of this exercise. So now I'll uh, guide you through kind of the inputs and the, the collective throughout the loops. So now we're gonna start from the left. As I said, go up, do a nice little 180 pirouette, and come smoothly out of the stall turn. Okay, so we're gonna pull up at center. Positive, positive, positive. Now we're gonna just have a little bit of negative collective to hold it over the top. And one, one thing that I really wanna mention um, when it comes to loops, and this doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if you're doing forward, backwards, pirouetting, even rolling loops. A common mistake that I see people make is they come and they're carrying positive and they keep the positive into it and they and they get over speed through the, uh, the back side of the loop. They start traveling way too fast. So to prevent that, you gotta make sure your collective, you're keeping up with the collective throughout the loop. So let me show you an example. All right, so I'm gonna do it the wrong way. So we're gonna come. So, so far we're good, we're good, we're good. And now they keep positive in it and then look, we kinda, we gain too much. We gain way too much speed and you start to lose control of the model. So now let's demonstrate the proper way. Stall turn. Come out nice and smooth, make sure we're parallel. Okay. So yes, we're going to pull up with positive, and about right here, we're going to feed a little bit of negative into it, kind of hold it on the top there, and then slowly start getting positive again. Sorry, I got a little distracted there by the guy down there. Um, guy in our flight box, yeah. Mr. Spotter. You can yell at him. Okay. Feel free to... So the biggest thing that you want to avoid is... Don't be afraid to put negative in. You have to put negative in to keep that thing up there at the top. And don't rush the positive back in. I realize eventually you're going to have to put positive collective to keep that thing upright. But keep negative in there for as long as you can. That's one rule that I would follow is keep the negative in, the negative collective that is, for as long as you can. You want to really control your speed on the back side of those loops, the second half of them. See, just like that. Notice how our speed throughout the loop is very consistent. All right, so once again, let's go through the entire exercise. Come in parallel, nice smooth loop. And then when I get to the bottom here, I'm gonna use rudder and a little bit of aileron to rotate that nose to about 30 degrees. So now our second loop, as you can see, is roughly a 45 degree angle away from us. Do the same thing there. Now we're straight on, coming at us. And watch, you'll see the, the correction right here to where I, I steered it, um, you know, 45 degrees uh, every time when you're coming around the bottom. So that's just an exercise that I think will really help you guys with learning loops and it's going to make sure that you're not cheating yourself with getting too comfortable with only one orientation. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Jamie. We appreciate uh, that advice. It's all solid stuff. I hope that helps. Thanks, Jamie. We'll be back soon, guys. All right, guys. Welcome back. We're uh, back in Phoenix. Wow. What a weekend. Yeah. Vegas Fun Fun was fun. Yeah, it was awesome. We saw some great flying. We saw all of our friends. We had some hot apple pie. Oh my lord, what was that guy's name? Probably Phil. 30 gallons. Phil, you're the man, dude. Phil the apple pie guy. Yeah, that you was know? good stuff. Awesome flying. We saw Jamie Robertson just flip a helicopter on a dime and not even make it move. 
that just blew my mind. Did some other cool stuff too. Right? Yeah, Amongst a lot of the other pilots. I mean, oh. they were all doing really cool stuff. Donnie, man, that kid can fly. Yeah, he's getting a lot better. Well, you, your what? night flight Friday night. Yeah, it was Holy pretty cool. Holy mackerel, that was epic. Dude, my finger slipped off the sticks like. Yeah, twice. like five foot off the ground. Yeah. I, for a second, I thought I was going back to my getting my wrenches out. Yeah. <laughs> But I didn't crash it. You didn't crash. It was so awesome. That's all that matters, right? Well, yeah. And weather was great. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. It wasn't too cold. It was awesome. Just enough to make you appreciate what we have here in Arizona when it's not 130. But uh, it got it was nice in the day. We got a lot of flying. Yeah. You know, yeah, it was good flying. Gail and the guys put on a great show. Appreciate everything they did. Yeah. And Ken Marshall, I know if I ever need a Neo, I know who's got a hundred of them. <laughs> Whenever Mikado is out of stock, call Ken, right? Call Ken. Yeah. You know, but no, it was a, it was a, it was an epic weekend. I so can't we, wait till next year. So we just, we, we saw Jamie, you know, do the whole section on how to do a loop. He like walked us through it and showed us how to get set up for it and how to make sure you, you're going straight parallel to the flight line. That was awesome stuff. That was, uh. It's interesting, the little tricks and tips that someone gives you that you never think about that just really helps set a maneuver up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so those are just some neat stuff. And like I said, just great weekend, great people. Um, but you know, we're starting to waste some daylight here. Yeah. Time for us to get some flying in. Yeah. All right. Let's go do it. You guys have a good one. We'll catch you next time. And remember, always keep progressing. Keep progressing.